Hey there guys, Matchroom promoter Eddie Hearn has seemingly responded to Andy Ruiz and his claims that he will beat Anthony Joshua again and the fact that he is saying Anthony Joshua is not a very good boxer. Eddie Hearn had this to say, The rematch is very big because he must win it and if he doesn't, while it isn't back to the drawing board, he won't fight for world titles again immediately. At the moment, honestly, nothing has changed. We've got the rematch and if he wins the rematch, he's bigger than he ever was anyway. He's still in the biggest fight of the year coming up. He's still got a chance to win his belts back. He's still got a chance to take his profile to astronomical levels through victory. Eddie Hearn went further to say, I just want him to win. For him, I just want him to be happy. I think there's a part of AJ. I don't think he would admit it or if he even knows it yet. That his life has changed so much and I think some of the pressure is something he never thought would come. He's just a great guy who loves chilling out with his mates, loves having a laugh, loves the sport, loves training. He doesn't want a lot of the bullshit that comes with it. That is what Eddie Hearn has had to say on the matter. Now while he is not directly addressing Andy Ruiz, there is a message in there for him that Anthony Joshua is coming to win his belts back. This is the biggest fight in the heavyweight division according to Eddie Hearn and that is what Anthony Joshua believes also. That is what Eddie Hearn is trying to get across here because Andy Ruiz says Anthony Joshua must have underestimated him last time and there was nothing wrong with Anthony Joshua. Everyone is just looking for excuses. That is what Andy Ruiz believes. There was nothing wrong with Anthony Joshua. He was perfectly fine going in there and it's just because Andy Ruiz was the better fighter in there that he won. And I guess you just have to say that, okay? No more excuses for Anthony Joshua. Andy Ruiz did beat him, but why did Anthony Joshua lose? It's down to inexperience in my opinion. He just got caught with a shot. And because Anthony Joshua went in throwing hooks, it allowed Andy Ruiz to get on the inside. If he had thrown straight shots, he would have kept Andy Ruiz at bay and possibly backed him up and knocked him out. It was just inexperience there. He went in too gung-ho trying to knock him out. But next time, he will be more measured and he won't make the same mistakes. So I think Eddie Hearn is just trying to send a little message to Andy Ruiz that Anthony Joshua is fully focused on the rematch and he knows what Andy Ruiz brings to the table now. Now recently Andy Ruiz has been throwing a bit of shade at Anthony Joshua by saying he's not a very good boxer, he just runs around. I don't know what has changed for Andy Ruiz, but he's not showing the same respect. Maybe that's just because he doesn't believe Anthony Joshua poses any threat to him, which is a big mistake, because look at what Anthony Joshua has done before. Maybe Andy Ruiz will underestimate him this time, because remember, Anthony Joshua has beaten Alexander Povetkin, Joseph Parker, an undefeated world champion at the time, and Vladimir Klitschko, Carlos Takam. So let's not forget that what Anthony Joshua has actually achieved in the sport of boxing, two unification fights before his 22nd fight. So if Andy Ruiz believes it's going to be easier than last time, then he has another thing coming, a very big right hand that is also, maybe even an uppercut. But I believe Anthony Joshua will win the rematch, he won't underestimate Andy Ruiz, and he will prepare diligently for that fight. Guys, what are your thoughts on Eddie Hearn's comments and the fact that Andy Ruiz is throwing some shade at Anthony Joshua now? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up, and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.